and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my week two project life spread. I do have a video showing my plans for 2016. If you want to check that out, you'll be able to see how I came up with what design I'm planning on using and things like that. My thought process on it all. So today I am using the 4Kids at 147 February kit which is a kit I've popped together myself from quite a few new goodies, a couple of older goodies um, that I've picked up over the past few weeks so that I have a set amount of supplies to work with, which means I'm not digging through my stash every time I want to do a layout. So I've pulled out a few different embellishments. I started off with the word love from the Dear Lizzie Foam Phrase Thickers as I liked the way that that stood out on the yellow and gave a nice impact with not having a title card as such or a themed card with writing already on it this meant that I could bring one in of my own. Originally I brought down two vellum hearts to that bottom left spotty paper one of them being a hot pink with my daughter being in this layout as it was her 12th birthday. That does end up moving only because there seems to be more pictures of the boys in my life on this layout this week than there is of my daughter. So up in the top card, I messed about with this card quite a little bit. I did like bringing in the number three next to that picture that's of my nephew who turned three this week. However, the colour scheme wasn't quite working with the rest of the items that I'd already chosen and was happy with. So I do end up messing about quite a little bit with that card, which seems to happen some weeks more than others. I love the, the die cut from the cut apart sheet saying play hard, because that boy does know how to play. So I brought that back in after originally thinking it wasn't going to work and while I've been outlining most of these cards, I decided while it's going good, let's do it again. Uh, making sure I move my picture out the way because I have managed to mark a layout previously by not paying attention to where my pen went. So at the top, it currently at the moment says ignore the critics and play hard. It does change a little bit, but not too much from now. So I'm just outlining the other card that says feeling fancy. And I've changed out that pink heart for a black one. I just felt that it matched the colour scheme a little bit better. Now I should have learnt last time that those cork hearts stick quite well. But obviously I wasn't paying attention this time. So I did end up having to peel that off very, very slowly to make that one work. So while I mess about a little bit more with the embellishments on this layout... I'll just talk through a few of the things that are on show this week. So up in the top picture, that is my little nephew in his dragon suit. He does like to dress up. Um, he turned three this week. And also my youngest daughter, who's in the bottom photo, turned 12. Now, I don't have many photos of her birthday that week, only because she went out with family to watch Britain's Got Talent for the day. So they were involved a little bit of queuing. So we had present opening in the morning and then off she went on her jollies. I suppose that's what happens when they get older. But she had a brilliant birthday and that's all that matters. So I'm just going round outlining each of the cards because I do know I don't want anything going over the edge. So I'm safe to do that while I then have a look at the embellishments and see if there's any others that I want to bring in. So I wanted to use these glitter thickers that worked very, very well and use them to put the ages that each of the children turned on their birthdays this week. I then tried to adopt the layout scheme of making sure it was in three places. Didn't work quite as well, but with it being a Project Life sped, it was happy to stay as two. So then I brought in the puffy stickers from Heidi Swap. 
bringing in the little gold heart at the bottom of feeling fancy. I do seem to like my heart at the moment. So I had a look through the crepe paper chipboard sheet and pulled one out for above love. However, I do end up changing that out because it brings in a pop of pink I didn't really need. I did want some more gold on the layout and while I had a few pieces in the kit, on this occasion I did decide to pull out some crepe paper puffy hearts and arrows etc that I had in my stash. At first thinking I'd pop the chevron on but then changing it for an arrow to show that I was talking about my nephew. This made the card quite long so I decided that we didn't need the word and in the middle so I just rubbed off the adhesive off the back and popped that back in with everything else. This is when I decided to change the heart on love so I decided I wanted something a little bit simpler on that card. So I'm very nearly done here, so I will slow it down and show you each one in turn. The other pictures on the page in the middle are of my son. One we got him a decal, is that the, even the word, for Christmas, which I finally put up in this week for him above his computer saying loading. So he quite happily, once that was up, sat there posing so we could get a picture of it in play. And this is it here. He also went on her school trip this week uh, and took a picture for me, which is a new one from my son. I normally get pictures off my girls. And then the other one, which is a text message, which you can hardly see, I will read to you. It says, Sir, Miss, my tooth started bleeding this morning and it hurts when I talk, so my mum said not to. My daughter made that sign for her teachers at school and it made me laugh because... My youngest is definitely a talker and how she managed to not would have been quite entertaining for me to see. So that's the layout. Thank you for joining me today and I'll show you some close-ups.